In this and the next few videos, I'd like to illustrate some basic skills that are useful for setting up spreadsheet models. In particular, in this video, I want to illustrate uh, entering text and formulas into cells, uh, working with tabs and text boxes. So let's get going. Perhaps the first thing you want to do if you have a spreadsheet model is to set up a cover sheet or an assignment page. So all you have to do is to enter text, just type it. Assignment number one. Okay, and that's it. Now you just have to come back. If you want to go to assignment number two, you can just go up here and edit this, make this a two, whatever you want. Now you would like to put, uh, say, the course number or uh, whatever uh, production this is here. So you might just want to say, this is Math 101 or whatever the course is. You, of course, should put your name. I'm a sample. Nice name. And then you'd like to enter a date. Well, you can enter the date in several ways. Let's just say this is June 1st, 2009. And you can enter it like that. Now, sometimes students will have problems. The date will come out looking funny, become strange. So how do we handle that? Well, what you do is you go to that cell and right click. And when you right click, you'll see an item in the menu that pops up that says Format Cells. And when you go to that, you can then see it's formatted correctly here. You can actually change the type of the date format. But very often, it's got some other format uh, you can change it to be the date, or you could uh, put it in whatever format you like. You can also uh, look at these other tabs here and make the corresponding uh, changes. <clears throat> okay, so there we've got that set up. Now, uh, supposing we like to keep this, we can go down here to this tab, Sheet 1, double-click on it, and you can just call it Cover Sheet, Title, Page, whatever you like, hit Enter, and that's fine. Okay, so there we've got a cover sheet built up. We can go to another uh, tab here um, where now we have, uh, we want to look at um, uh, some questions dealing with entering formulas. So here's the problem here. You borrowed $1,500 at an annual rate of 18% simple interest, and you'd like to know how much you have to repay if you're going to repay it after one month or nine months. <clears throat> now, this is a simple interest problem and notice here's the formula for simple interest given here so how do we set this up well notice that we're given uh, actually three pieces of information we're given the amount that's borrowed so we'll <clears throat> and generally when you want to set up a template you want to put your labels down the leftmost column here and then the values uh, right to the right of those so 1500 there the annual rate is given, as well as the term. Okay, now what was the annual rate? Well, it was 18%. Now, you should be a little careful. We don't want to enter 18, because if you calculate with interest, you've got to do it as a decimal, 0.18. And the term here, now here's another little problem. What's one month? Let's deal with that one first. One month is a twelfth of a year, so I want to calculate that, so I'll say equal, so I'll have the spreadsheet calculated, 1 divided by 12, and hit enter. Now, <clears throat> this actually came out with the correct fractional part of the year written as a decimal. Other times, students have had problems getting all kinds of uh, numbers here that obviously are not right. Again, what do you do if it's not the right form? Well, you right-click on that cell. Go to Format Cell, and in this case, it's the general format. If we don't like the number of decimal places that it is written here, we can go to Number and say change this to four decimal places. All right, and so then that will then fix it as four decimal places. Okay, this is our input area. Those are where we can change values. Now we want to have a calculation area. All right, so what are we calculating here? Well. The simple interest formula says we want to calculate the interest. And then, of course, we want to calculate how much we repay. All right, so how do we implement this formula? Well, the formula is just like the right-hand side of this formula. You want to start with the equal sign, 
And now you could put in the cell location for the principal or the amount borrowed, but I prefer the shortcut, just click on that cell. Now then, how do we indicate multiplication? Well, if you hold the shift key and press eight, that gives us the multiplication symbol. You wanna multiply that by the annual rate, which is here in B6, you click on it, shift eight again, say multiply, and the time of involved or the term of the loan is going to be there in B7. You hit enter, and there it calculates the amount of interest. Now, if you don't like that, and you say, okay, I would like to uh, uh, have you go down to format cell again, and now I'll say I want it to be a number with two decimal places, and there it is, so now it looks like money. How do we get the amount repaid? Well, that's, we start with equal, we take the amount borrowed, and add to that the amount of interest. <clears throat> and there we are, it gives us 15.2250. Now for the second problem, uh, what do we want to do? Well, we want to change the term here from 1 12th to 9 12th. I can just type in equal 9 divided by 12. It automatically changes the uh, calculation of, for the interest and the amount to be repaid. So that's one of the advantages of a spreadsheet. It allows you to change the input values here. It automatically recalculates everything. Now, one of the things you may want to do is to explain the answer or write down the answer to someone, your boss, or so forth. So to do this, we want to create what's called a text box. Now, if you go up under the View menu, there's an item called Toolbars. And the text box is a drawing tool. I could click it here, or I could have taken the shortcut by just going up to a blank area of, of this top uh, bar and right-clicking, and it gives me that same list of toolbars. I click Drawing Tools, and now notice the drawing tools are placed here, at least in my setup, along the bottom. And so here is the text box. So how do I set up a text box? Well, I just click that. I can go to anywhere I like, hold the left mouse button, and draw out a rectangle. And then I can put text in this. So I could answer the questions up here. Uh, you could say after one month, you repay, what was it, $1,522.50. After nine months, uh, one needs to repay. What was the value here? $1,702.50. Now, if you're not happy with, uh, you like this on two lines or something, you can do things like shorten up the text box or make it longer. Uh, you can reposition it to put wherever you like. Now, notice the text box here has a little, uh, resize it. It has a little border around it. You can uh, right-click the text box and choose uh, various items here under Format Text Box and do things like, here's the colors and lines. You can remove the line color, no line, and now you have something that looks just like text that was written in a uh, word or something like that. Well, thanks for stopping by. In the next video, we will use the solver and this same template.